Okay, I am here with the incredible Peter Sage, petersage.com, brilliant author, speaker. The name of your book? The Inside Track. The Inside Track. Tell us a little bit about The Inside Track. Well, it's uh, a an, an very unusual book that's changing the lives of everybody that's read it so far, and it's essentially the 11 letters that I wrote from the most violent prison in the UK as the only non-criminal having never been accused of a crime, still don't have a criminal record, but ended up as a civil prisoner for six months amongst murderers and terrorists and drug dealers. And I was essentially writing these letters to show my students how you can take any experience that life throws at you that looks like it's huge adversity and always be able to turn it around to your advantage, which is what I did in there. Changed lives, got people off drugs, stopped suicides, redid the intake system that's now being used in prisons all over the world, including not far from here in Hungary, and really just turned it into the greatest adventure I've ever had the privilege of living. And all of my tradecraft, all of my secrets, all of my mm -hmm. how-to is all in that book. It was mm -hmm. never meant to be a book. It was written to my students paying me 50 grand a year, uh -huh. and I decided to give it away to the world to try to help them in, in the current times. Right. And... You had mentioned that after you had left, they noticed a big energy shift in the prison. Can you oh, elaborate huge. on that? Yeah, I didn't realize until afterwards when I met my former cellmate who I was in Pentonville with. Mm -hmm. And I actually wrote a letter to the judge that got him released. And I, he came to my kind of, you know, uh, when I was out and mm -hmm. didn't put a party together, he came and says, did you hear what happened after you left? I'm like, no. He says, the wing erupted. He says, what do you mean? He says, you left at 7.30 in the morning. He said to, and I was being transferred to a different prison, and he said by 8.30, the violence escalated and it never went down for the next three weeks while he was still there. And that really had a, a lot to do with being able to focus my energy every day into the hearts and minds of all of the people in the wing. And if you go and look at the actual prison statistics for the time that I was there, starting after about a week mm -hmm. or so, the average violence on my wing dropped right down. And this is a prison where three deaths in one week was the worst week I was there. Wow. Yeah, attempted murders every mm -hmm. week, blood on the floor every day. And uh, it's the most violent and populated wing in Europe, which was mm -hmm. G-Wing. I was on D-Wing. Mm -hmm. But D-Wing calmed right down while I was there. And mm -hmm. then when I left, boom, it exploded back up. And that's an energy shift. Wow, powerful. Now, you had told me you did some energy practices there I that you had learned. What did you do and what did you learn? All right, well... Uh, I actually had a, uh, a picture sent in from my home because my, my fiance at the time could send stuff in and I, I had them on the walls and I actually had one of the printouts that Ed had sent me and I had it on my wall and it was the um, uh, the flower of life with a, a, a pyramid and I was doing the five balls yeah, and four pyramids energy alignment and I was doing yeah, a consistent um, uh, energy exercise to surround myself with a pink light, a golden light, put myself in another cocoon of energy, anything to stop the insidious, low level, really violent, yet aggressive energy that permeated that prison like a suffocating shrink wrap mm -hmm. to try to keep myself and my own energy up. And then mm -hmm. from there, obviously you cannot give what you don't have. Right. From there, I was able to right. then project that out. So for those of you who don't know, the five balls and four pyramids is a system I teach. And many years ago, maybe four years ago, Peter came to me for help. And I showed him how to align your mind, body, and spirit to heaven and earth, breaking through the frequency fence and reaching higher dimensions. That is a system I call five balls and four pyramids. It's very powerful. And we teach it in Self-Healing Mastery and Self-Healing Mastery Plus. Now with that, Peter, you had a bicycle accident several years later. He contacts me. Tell them what happened. Yeah, I was riding my bike with my two dogs. I came off the bike and I basically busted my AC joint here. Now, when you say you came off the bike, you just fell or a car hit you or what? No, happened? I actually, I hit a deer, would you believe, at night, drive, trying to wear my two Jack Russells out in a, in a park, which I know well. Okay. But it was a perfect storm, hadn't got my phone, the lights battery had gone, mm -hmm. and I, I, I knew the park, so I was riding, mm -hmm. but next minute, bang, I've hit a deer in the pitch black wow. on a push bike at 20 miles an hour. Wow. And I've somersaulted, uh -huh. bounced off the concrete into the grass, and I can't see, I can't even see where my car keys went, I thought I was walking mm -hmm. home. And I was in pain, mm -hmm. I thought, that's the end of the dog walk. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I went to the ranger's house, which okay. was in the middle of the park, Right. It was about 11 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. 
and I, I, I knew something was wrong when I went to knock on the window and I couldn't lift both my arms. Ouch. So I ended up banging on the window with my head and they came out, what's right, says, I need some help, I've come off my bike. And when I walked into the light, this shoulder was up here and this wrist was clearly broken yeah, mm -hmm. and twisted around. And so, yeah, the challenge was I was taking my high level coaching students, trekking gorillas in the jungle in Uganda three weeks later. And these people had paid me yeah, 13,000 pounds each for the trip. I couldn't refund. I couldn't, like, I didn't have the money to refund. Yeah, we'd already spent mm -hmm. it on flights and, and yeah, all of the tour guide mm -hmm. stuff. So I knew I had to heal. And yeah, obviously I, I, I worked with Ed before. I'm familiar with accelerated healing. And while there's obviously a physical component to that by you know, taking out toxins and you know, making sure you're not giving the body stuff that it's using its energy to try to fight and putting in some good stuff nutritionally, the majority of rapid healing is all non-physical. So for me, I, I gave out a call, we worked on it. You also uh, helped me with Dr. Shah, I think it was. Yeah, we did, um, he, he contacts me in a panic, okay? And he was hurting. He, his life force on a scale of one to 10 was around a two, two. or a three. Yeah. And so tell him what happened, what was the result of our sessions for the next couple of days. Well, I actually documented this on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, you can see the three videos. The first one where you know, it's just a couple of days later, and bearing in mind, I'm in a sling on here, and I'm in mm -hmm. a cast here. I can't eat, I can't feed myself, I can't even go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. right? It was that immobilizing, because both my arms are about a, Three days later, uh, I get on video and I've got like a warm jacket on. It's cold. It's November in England. And I basically say, okay, so here's the update, guys. And I take my jacket off like that and I throw it away. And that was purely from our energy sessions on Skype. Yes. Yeah. So what I do is we restore the soul. The soul is the human energy field. The soul is what heals the body. I was in the Philippines. He was in England. Doesn't matter. We operate at a dimension that's above space and time. Uh -huh. We restored his life force. His life force was depleted. The spirit of his shoulder and arms depleted. The spirit of his shoulder and arms is what repairs the shoulder and arms. Not me, not an orthopedist. It's the spirit of his shoulder and arms. So we revived that spirit. We energized it. We cleared the fear and the panic, right? And then the healing accelerated. Three days. And then uh, it was, uh, I did an, another video follow-up to show people what was happening. Mm -hmm. And then the final video is after two and a half weeks, uh, the cameras followed me into the hospital where they actually cut off the cast. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, because they, they, the wrist was healed enough to take off the cast, not six right. weeks, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. And a week later, I got on a plane and went trekking gorillas in the jungle and had an incredible time. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing, Peter. My Wonderful friend. story. Folks, healinggenius.com, selfhealingmastery.net. Learn to tap into this higher energy. And you can accelerate your own healing, accelerate your own energy, which brings you greater love, prosperity, health, vitality. A living example. Peter Sage, petersage.com. Thank you, Peter. My pleasure. Love you, man. All right. Love you, too. All right. Thank you, friends. Hi, this is Ed Stracher. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn how to connect to this vibrant cosmic energy that heals, or what some people call love, come learn more at selfhealingmastery.net, where we have an online course titled Self Healing Mastery. If you want to learn how to apply for fee based personal healing services, you can contact us at either of these Facebook pages or you can email us directly. We also have a YouTube channel titled Healing Genius. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.